when you are 20 to 30 years old, you should follow a good boss, join a good company to learn how to do things properly. When you're 30 to 40 years old, if you want to do something yourself, just do it. You still can't afford to lose, to fail. But when you're 40 to 50 years old, my suggestion is that you should do things that you are good at, right? And not do things that, oh, that's very interesting, I want to try something new. It's a bit dangerous more. When you're 50 to 60 years old, spending time training and developing young people, the next generation. When you're over 60 years old, better stay with your grandchildren. So 30 years old, we people next to 30 years are the luckiest period. We have a lot of challenges, a lot of things are happening, and with our knowledge, with our physical power, it's time. I was born in a very poor family. I never got a great education. You know, I, I failed all the examinations. For what reason? I don't know. Later, I realized I don't have money. I don't have technology. The only thing I competed with my people, the young people, is let's compete for 10 years later. This is what I believe 10 years later will be happening. So everything I do for that goal, I know 10 years later, this thing is going to happen. So prepare for that. Because I know if I compete with him for next month, no chance. It's a challenge, but it's an opportunity. And it's an opportunity for people like us. The most difficult thing is to convincing a successful people. Ah, when you tell him, this is a great opportunity, he said, no, 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 forget it, right? I've been doing this for 30 years. But for people like us, we're looking for opportunities in order to survive. If you want to be successful tomorrow, it's impossible. If you want to be successful a year later, it's impossible. But if you want to win 10 years later, you have chance.